you may notice, movie, movie, um, I bought a gimbal because, believe it or not, I watched back my footage and got fucking motion sick. <laughs> oh, brutal. And so I thought, because of all the old people that watch, I should probably do something about, you know, the ups and downs, the lefts and rights, the bumps, the grinds. You feel me? So yeah, we did something. You're welcome. Um, hang on. I can also move it. Move. Slug's here. Move back to me. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, so if the angles are a bit off today, I apologise. Tough shit. We're just heading out to check this back paddock of ewes and lambs. We've got two paddocks left to lamb. We are almost done. So close to being done. It's not funny. We love it. I think that's it. How could I forget? I better give you the rain report. <laughs> touchy subject. Touchy subject. Um, it doesn't seem... Look, there's water on the ground. As we can see, there's puddles on the ground. But, there's always a fucking but. The problem with that is, it's not enough rain. Title of this year. Grass is dying. Show you. I've got paddocks that are, that are finished. Um, they're just, they're fucked. Like, look at this. The grass is dying. It's October and the grass is fucking dying. Like, we already, we went through this back in June. I'm having deja vu. Um, yeah, so it's not good at all. The grass is, like this paddock just over here where we've got the, the young lambs. That's done. The problem is that we're expecting rain Friday. Whether or not we get it is a different question. Like you look at the radar, you look at, you know, the apps. One hour you're going to get 30 mil. Next hour you're going to get 10. The next hour you're going to get zero. The next hour you're going to get 20 mil. At this point, we don't know what we're going to get until it gets here, which is a problem because we need to know if we need to cut hay now. All we're waiting on is Friday. If we get rain Friday, we're gonna leave the crops and let you know that rain do what it needs to do, hopefully fill. If we don't get rain Friday, Monday morning, we're gonna start cutting crops for hay. When the crops start to flower and go to seed, uh, you need rain to be able to give the crops the energy to fill those seeds. You can have a barley stem that's got fucking 20 barley seeds on it, but if those seeds don't get any rain and they weigh nothing, it's worth fucking nothing. It's worth stock feed, that's it. So we need that rain to fill those pods and make them heavy so we can actually get some fucking money for these crops. But that's the current problem we have at the moment. So if we're not going to get rain, then it's better to cut the crops for hay because hay's, you know, going to be more useful than rain that weighs nothing. You want high protein? Liam's currently on his way up to Kerrang to get some hay for me, for my sheep. And that's 13.1% protein uh, oat and hay, which is fucking good. Paying out the ass for it, but it's fucking worth it because I shouldn't have to feed my whites um, grain this year. And my whole concept with the whites is I want them to be grass fed. Maybe a bit of beans if I need to, so a bit of legume. I just want to see if they do well on grass because they're, they've got desert breeds mixed in. So I would just, you know, it's a bit of an experiment. The whole, the whole thing's an experiment, just to see. Here are the ewes that are the last ones to lamb. I think they look pretty good. Um, let, you can let me know if this footage looks better than usual. If it's more smooth, I'd say the stuff, no, come around. I'd say the stuff on me is probably not as good, but you know, we can't, we can't have everything. I'd say we're moving all over the fucking place. We'll go on, move on to the next paddock. And one more thing. I know you've come here to watch me yet. Um, lambs, first truckload of lambs are going tomorrow. So we're gonna be weighing lambs later today. We need 300 of them for the truckload. Here is the other mob that is still lambing. These are the ewes that are just really, really late. I think we ended up getting 85 in here. Um, so, you know, 
it's not too bad. They're all young ewes, so they would have been the last ones that reached. Hello? Excuse me? Dude, what the fuck? This fucking thing, you're driving me nuts. It's just one minute it's balancing. It doesn't work when the charge is in. I don't know why, it's just too heavy. Um, and it's got to be in the middle of a bloody case and I've got to have a super protective case on. So it like, in case like my phone doesn't break. We got it working. Now, now it's pointing up to the sky again. Now it's sideways. Why is it doing that? I don't understand why it's doing that. Oh my god. Damn it. Fucking honestly. As I said, I need a protective case on my phone for various reasons. <laughs> We're gonna head out and feed some sheep, the ewes with lambs specifically. We're back to feeding beans and barley. Uh, we're just heading out now to go and feed the first lot. Decided I'm gonna fill up. This silo here was filled up with a mix of beans and barley earlier this year. Um, I need to go back. I need to go back a little bit. Big, big. I'll quickly, I'll show you the mix real quick. The mix we've got, obviously, handful, we get some beans. It's a nice high protein and a good way to fill out the lambs. We'll get the uh, auger going. about six minutes roughly to fill up. Here are the crossbred lambs we weaned. When did we wean these slug? I don't know, a couple weeks ago. We did it on video. Just gonna run out some grain for these. Apparently they follow the car and then don't realize there's grain. So we might have to give them a bit of a chasey chase over to the grain. I need to put this one really close to the den because of the wire weed. Just make check on everyone. We're all happy, we're all alive. That's good to know. We'll just put it here because here's where the dam's gonna be next year. We're gonna manifest that. This is where the dam's gonna be this time next year. Oh, don't do this shit. Don't do this shit. When they circle the ute, it gets dangerous because they trample each other and slip. It's not good. Very nice, very yum yums, very delicious. Turtle alert! Turtle alert! Ma'am! Your baby stayed with you. Your lamby, st your lamb stayed with you, mama. Try to get out of the car, I'm stuck. Like you. Go, go free. It was a lot less anticlimactic than I thought. But she's right. Lammy, yeah. Lammy was attacking the tent. All right, we're good. Moving on. Looks like fucking zombies are coming. These mobs here are getting barley for the second time, so we've got to be gentle on it. Yeah. Marina. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Too fucking dumb, they got lost in the paddock. You know, it's time for your lunch. Yeah, it would be lunch. Yeah, it's 11.30. Merinos, it's lunch time. Come and get it. We'll feed out to these merinos and then, oh, this is a paddock we can crop down to the dam, I suppose. These have only had one feed, but it was a week ago, so we're going to work off of they've had nothing um, better safe than sorry. All right, I'll open this on this on this lightly, just just the tip. Okay, a little bit more than that. Got to got to pump it a little bit harder. There we go. All right, all right, off we go. Wee. Feels like half of this vlog is the back of Slug's head. Fuck, this area is starting to look dry. Grass is just dying. 
I think the grass is done for the year. I'm just trying to get the sheep from over there to come over because it's the same paddock. <laughs> Have they seen I'm here? A couple heads went up. They're coming. They're coming. Yep, they're running. Run, run as fast as you can. Come and get the barley and beans, you fucking merinos. Very slowly, but they're coming. They're running as fast as they marinally can. Look at that near perfect timing for lunchtime. And I think we're weighing lunch. Running of the bulls. Whee! We're bringing in these. Oh, she's back. I was going to say, the, the black, the two black lambs had disappeared. But no, they're, they're back. Um, we're just going to bring these ewes and lambs in. They're going to be crutched. Uh, and the biggest ones are going to be pulled out. They're going on the truck. Provided when we pick them up, they're heavy. Sometimes they can be big, but you pick them up and they're not heavy. You need shit. You need them to be heavy. They need to be, um, they need to be above 45 kilo. Ideally, you want 48, but we'll see. And then on the other side, you get them when they're really small and you pick them up and they're like picking up a bag of rocks. It's time for your Brazilians, ladies. Good job, Slug, you're doing well. Gather, ladies and little dudes, gather. All right, we need to go that way. You need to turn around. We're going this way, ladies. Working our way down. Come on. Not sure if the ram is the one on the left or the right. Can't quite see from here. I hope he's the one on the right because the one on the left's got fucking dags and I ideally wouldn't want dags, but I am breeding for colour, so I suppose it doesn't matter as much. Then we go slowly, slowly. They're bigger lambs. I think everything with a tail will be going with a tail. <laughs> Type it up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just looking at them for size. They looked a lot bigger in the paddock. It seems to happen a lot where they look a lot bigger than they are. One there that can go. This one here. That'd be big enough. Feed bin's coming off. The stock crate around the corner is going on. I was talking to someone just before. And they said that they pay $250 for a shearer to come and shear her three pet sheep. 250 bucks for three pet sheep. Shit, I'll fucking do it. I get someone to shear my pet sheep for me because they're very, very big. And I'm not very, very big. So, it, so it's quite hard for me to shear them. But 200 <laughs> fucking dollars that's a lot of money slug <laughs> for three fucking pet sheep anyway conclusion to the story if you've got pet sheep and you want them shorn hit me up you only get fucking 12 dollars on a farm all right boys this is your stop these are two rams that excessively kept jumping out and are finally being caught and returned to the boys club you do need to exit the vehicle Come on, get out. Oh, there's some kangaroos. I don't think you can see them. Bad luck. But all the other rams except Scrote are in here. Trailer's backed up to the ramp to load. Last lot. All need to come in. Where is she? There. Hello, slug. Come on. It's ram number three that keeps escaping. Come on. Up 
getting the lambs that have been weaned and I've gone back too far. Open the gate. Then I suppose we'll send Typo to go and get them. Okay. No, come in here. bring sheep into whale. These are our scales. You may recognize them from the cavemen. That's what they used to weigh fucking mammoths on. They're pretty fucking shit. <laughs> You'll see why. So these are the scales. And these are the little cords that go into our little tentacle reader machine. Yeah. 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 The problem with it is, is that you can't touch anything at all. It will totally change. Top is silly. Top it. Where's our little crowbar? Come with me, little slug. We have to get the thingy. Topo, come on. Topo, come on. Topo, come with me. Topo, come with me. Help me get the thingy. I don't want it running off with dad's dogs. Typo! Oh, there you are. Good slug. Good slug. Get our little scale contraption reader. Alright, that sits in there like that. We have the girl parts and the boy parts. They're a bit alien-y. Which their plugs are in. Hang on. Let me unplug these. Hook it down. Turn it off. Plug in the power and then turn it on. Sorry, it's been a few months since we've waited. What have we got? Right. So it has had a knock, whether or not that's done it, but I don't think so. Got it working. Where are we? Hello, hello, Mr. Scales. Can you weigh my sheep for me? Thank you. Right. So this is manual scales, just go weigh every sheep. There's auto scales with auto drafters where you just put in a number and then it'll separate the sheep based on their tags or their numbers or, you know, all sorts of different shit. Top tier feature, to be honest with you. Five kilo, just spidey senses. What the fuck has it done this time? 
There's some bolts that need to go into the floor to stop it moving. I'm so skinny. That's not right. Okay. Right. Um, I was gonna say there's no way that sheep is 24 fucking kilos. Um Cords are crossed over. It's not being squashed. Mm -hmm. Might swap the weighing cords over, see if that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So we got 109, not fucking good, not good at all. Stock agent called and we're allowed to quarter fill the contract he's trying. To, they're gonna source the other 200 from someone else. Like that's your benefit of having a stock agent. Is if you can't fill the contracts, they will find the lambs to fill, finish, like get the rest of the numbers up. So they're going off to Melbourne tomorrow, all of those lambs. I suppose we'll cut to that here if I'm around for that. Here's my hay on the truck, not elsewhere. Um, here it is. Actually looks quite good. Look at that, it's green as green. Oh, the smell of it. Oh, delightful. Look at it all. I think it was 4,700 and something. Um, it's 17 tons of hay. As long as we get rain, when we're supposed to get rain, we 
we should be right with this and I shouldn't have to buy any more in. Otherwise I just have to buy it off of dad, I think, because I, I don't need another, another truck load. There almost was not a fight in the comments this episode. Thought wrong, it's the next day. Um, the lambs that are the lambs that are going on the truck are currently being crutched. They need a little bit of a tidy up before they go to the abs. Then I think they're leaving at 10 o'clock. But we got a comment and I want to discuss it because fucking hell. Have you got any brothers? Are they working on the farm or elsewhere? The reason is, is who will take over the farm when your parents retire? Fucking hello. Forgive me for being nosy. I might be able to forgive you for being nosy, but fucking being sexist, ick. I made a video last year about about how people say women shouldn't be in farming, and then all the comments were like, nobody fucking says that well. Why the fuck does a boy need to take over the farm? Why can't I can't fucking take over the farm? Fuck me. Fuck your tradition. I'll do what I fucking want. Liam's unloading my hay into the shed. Should be nice and tight in there. Shouldn't get wrecked by the weather if it's in the hay shed at least. The lambs are finished crutching, being crutched. Here they are. The truck's just here now. Kev's just backing it up. I think he's taking them. So when we load them for the abattoir, no dogs, so Typo's not allowed to be here. They're loaded on calmly. And then when they get to the abattoir, they're loaded back off. So we actually transport our own livestock. Some farmers get um, transport companies in. We transport all our own livestock. Here's the empty truck. So it's 27 a pen. If I think there's 109, I'm pretty sure. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Kev will just go up and shut them into that pen at the back. Then I'll pull up the next 29. Pew, pew, pew. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 20. Oh, there's a little bit over 29. Sort them out. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So we're doing 27 just because of the distance they're going. We do this to ensure that there's not too many that they get squashed. And also, if there's too little, you need to really underpack it or you can end up with problems. Twenty at uh, twenty-five here. And twenty-seven and twenty-seven. Yep, and then and twenty-eight. 28. Yep. It's hundred and seven. I thought maybe hundred and nine. I thought so, but maybe not. Um, make sure you count them on when they go off. I suppose. Now, Dad just needs to fill out the vendor's deck, so we get a copy. Abattoir gets a copy, and then they are. As you can see, there is enough space for them to comfortably move around, but they're not like loose to the point if they fall over, they get crushed. As you can see, once again, lots of space in there. Lots of space, heaps of space. And it's only that bottom row that we've managed to fill. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. But these are perfect supermarket lambs. They're not going to the supermarket. They're actually going to be, or well, they're, they're, they're processed in Melbourne and then they're going to be exported to the US. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like or slide, we'll take you on a drive. That seems very sinister.